All right, hello everybody. It's Shayna with Robin Semi Purposing, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I transformed this nine pane window into a beautiful piece for on top of my fireplace. Um, so first things first, I got started by cleaning it because it was filthy and it has been in our garage for a long time, so it was very dusty and dirty, as you can see. <laughs> so cleaned it up really, really good, front and back, like, because I'm gonna put a transfer on this here in a minute. And when you use a transfer, you have to make sure the surface is super clean. And the cleaner I was using here was actually just like essential oil cleaner that I've mixed up myself. Um, okay, and then you'll see here I show that I took this transfer. It's the brand Hocus Pocus. I've never used it before. Um, so I was anxious to try it. And I just found this really pretty one with birds on it. And it was black and white, so it was really neutral. And that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was kind of springy, springy and neutral. So this one was like the best I could find and I really, I really like it. So anyway, with the transfer, all you do to start is cut out the piece you want, especially if you're doing like a window, you cut out the piece you want and then you take that tool, the little wooden tool and you just press it on. Kind of like if you have a Cricut, it's kind of a similar concept, you know, you just press the transfer on there and you just keep rubbing. You go really, really slow on this part too. Um, I obviously sped up this process for the video, but definitely go slow and take your time because this part can be kind of tedious and kind of, um, you know, if you don't take your time, you can rip it up. So definitely go slow. And as you can see there, there's like some excess on the edge of the transfer that I didn't worry about. Um, if that bothered you, like if you didn't want to waste parts of the transfer, you could like cut this out specifically to like fit exactly the way you wanted it. But I, I've done multiple ones of these on windows before and I just know like that little side piece, it's just gonna, you're not, it's not gonna be any useful for anything really. So I just kind of like, don't worry about it. If that makes any sense. And as you can see, I had to play around with the placement a lot with these flowers and the, the feathers and the leaves and everything. I just had to kind of lay it out and figure out where I wanted it on the window. Okay, so with the transfers, I feel like you probably get the point by now. Just rub them on with that stick. Go very slow. I'm going to go ahead and like really, really, really speed up this, the rest of this process because it's basically the same and I'm, I'm sure you probably understand by now. So um, also, if you have any questions though, feel free to ask me in the comments always. And if I leave anything out in this video, definitely ask me because sometimes, you know, it's hard to do these voiceovers and I forget what I should say and what's most important. So just always ask me in the comments if you have any questions. One thing though that I know I'll probably get asked is what I seal the transfers with. And this is the sealer that I've always used on the glass windows. And I've used it multiple times, multiple times. And it has worked out perfectly fine for me. Um, I've had people argue with me before and tell me that it doesn't work, that it will peel up the transfer. But I've literally never experienced that and I've probably done 20 20 or more transfers on windows so it works for me that's all I'll say and if you if you want to seal it you can try that if not you're probably safe to not seal it especially if you're just going to have it like up on the wall or a window up on your fireplace or something you'll probably be okay not to but anyway that's my experience that's what I use and that's my recommendation but you know do what you feel you have to do <laughs>
so as you can probably tell it was hard to see that transfer because there was no background on this you know but when usually you put these on furniture they go onto like a painted surface so that it's either like white or gray or whatever so anyway i took this cardstock i had this white cardstock and just hot glued it around each back of each window that way when you turn this around you can see the the actual design on the transfer a lot better and i just did that to all four backs and I was going to paint this, like you can paint the back side of the transfer. So I was going to paint this, but I wasn't sure that I wanted it to be like permanent. I didn't know if later I might want to like change the color or just do something totally different. So I did cardstock so it wouldn't be a permanent thing. Okay, so I finished that up and excuse the big belly and all this. I tried not to be in the frame too much, but it was impossible to not be in the frame with this. But anyway, so I took this these old spindles and I had an exacto knife right there with me. I didn't have a pen and it's hard to get up and down right now. So anyway, <laughs> I just used it and I marked these out where I like where they would fit into those window frames. And then I just took my saw and sliced them down so they would fit in the little hole, the window holes there. And this was just a regular old spindle um, from Lowe's, I believe. And we've had it for a while and my husband took it and sliced it in half for me. So, cause I told him I could probably use it for projects. And as you can see there behind the window, I had that old bed frame sitting there. And that's where I got the idea to use these spindles um, and paint them black so that, cause it like it, I thought that looked cool actually when I had the window flipped around and I could see those in between. So anyway, I just took my hot glue I figured out which ones fit best in which window hole and I just hot glued them in there and then I flip this back around and I paint the spindles black and I will link my hot glue gun and my saw in the description box but if you get this hot glue gun be very very careful with it because I feel like it's the world's hottest glue gun ever like my other ones get pretty hot but this one seriously it's it's gets so hot and I don't use it all the time because of that, because it, it's like scares me. Cause every time, if you even, I mean, oh my gosh, it's hot. So anyway, I only use it for projects like this when I don't want to be like at my table, of course. Okay. And then, like I said, here I go and paint them black. And I just used my, that black apple barrel paint and a little Dollar Tree paintbrush. And I just slapped on some paint there. And as you can see here, my little boy was wanting to help. He kept telling me help, but I was distracting him with questions and stuff. So he kept watching me. But anyway, um, here in the end, you'll see in just a second that I took my white buckets and I ended up screwing them to the spindles, like right in the middle. And then I took some flowers that I got from Michael's and put in the buckets. And then here's a look at how it turned out on my fireplace. I absolutely love it so much. I think the only thing that would make it better is maybe some droopy flowers that kind of like, like drape down maybe. Like that would be really pretty. Otherwise, I just absolutely love how it turned out and I hope this inspires you to repurpose something. And as always, thank you so much for watching my videos.